Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan. Thank you so much for coming by. We have an awesome, incredible video for you guys today where Donald John Trump just announced that Mike Pence has full power to reject electoral college votes and we knew this day is coming and the Democrats are getting scared and they're preparing for a landslide loss. When Congress meets on January 6th, what actually is gonna happen? That's what we're taking a look at today with Mike Pence and Donald Trump. They are now a strong, strong team together to fight for four more years of Trump. So thumbs up this video if you want Trump to win and comment your support down below. I would really appreciate it. I'm in a little bit of a different set here today, so I hope the lighting and quality is okay. Thumbs up the video if the quality is fine. And now let's get started. So this is the tweet that Donald J. Trump sent out this morning, and I wanted to wait to see how different people react to it. So especially the Democrats, what they had to say, and oh guys, I have another video that I'm working on with the Democrats literally confirmed that Mike Pence, I'll, I'll keep it actually in this video from the New York Times, but Donald J. Trump said, the vice president has the power to reject, oh, can't say that word, chosen electors. Uh, he says, see you in DC. By the way, Donald Trump will be speaking at 11 a.m. Eastern time, so 8 a.m. Pacific time, which is my time, so I need to wake up early. You guys know Greg Way from the channel will be there as well, um, but let's take a look. We now have more than 100 states legislators ask Mike Pence to delay certification of electoral college votes under 3 U.S.C. 5. Federal law requires a final determination in accordance with state law to ascertain legitimate slate of electors coming from Jenna Ellis here. And now let's take a look at what the Epoch Times had to say about Trump announcing that Pence has the power to reject these chosen electors. He said the vice president uh, has the power to reject these uh, electors and um, Republicans have been increasingly putting pressure on Pence. I know I've been putting pe pressure on Pence. I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting at him. Um, Pence told a crowd of supporters in Georgia on Monday saying, I know we all have our doubts about the last election. I want to assure you that I share the concerns of millions of Americans about voting irregularities. I promise you, come this Wednesday, we will have our day in Congress hinting at him objecting to electoral college votes and Trump told voters as well, I hope Mike Pence comes through for us, I have to tell you. I hope that our great vice president, our vice president comes through for us. He's a great guy. Of course, if he doesn't come through, I won't like him as much. So almost a little threatening him a little bit there, or if he doesn't object, he won't be his friend anymore, which again, Trump is our leader. And yeah, guys, this is a huge, huge victory. And this is the article from the New York Times where um, they talked about Pence saying that he can of over Trump telling Pence that he can overturn his loss in Congress. And in this article, he said that and in this article, the New York Times is even calling Biden Mr. Biden. And they're also saying that Pence actually can do it. But they said that he basically shouldn't based on the I guess, um, historical um, pattern that most vice presidents or most president of the Senate haven't done so. So they're basically saying, well, Pence can't do it because no one's done it yet. Well, this is, everybody knows, this election has been like none we have ever seen. We have a president for the first time who's coming forth and sharing all of this crazy amounts of evidence a lot of this evidence probably was in other elections too, but no one had the balls to say anything. But luckily, you know, we have our president, Donald J. Trump, who's calling out everybody, calling out the media. And here, I just want to share with you guys, they brought on this. So let's take a look right here with what will happen on the day of Congress. Still, Republicans plan to force at least three such votes. Perhaps more. Mo Brooks from Al of Alabama said he will move to contest the results from at least six states. Three Republican senators, Josh Hawley of Missouri, Ted Cruz, and Kelly Loeffler, plan to back at least one of those. Dozens of House members and 11 senators have said they plan to vote against certifying Biden's Biden, well, whatever. Given that Trump and his supporters have contested the results, 
There could be as much as 12 hours of debate on Wednesday in half a dozen votes. So it's going to be a really, really long process. There's going to be tons of shouting, tons of yelling. Pelosi's going to be there. Mitch McConnell's going to be there. You're going to have Josh Hawley, the same guy who grilled Mark Zuckerberg. He's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a SH show in there. It's going to be nuts. So they're even talking about the possibility of what Pence does if he goes I guess against the tide because we need to remember this day in Congress January 6th is usually just a normal day where people show up count votes It's usually very boring day but this day in Congress is going to explode this is like a crazy big day and this is the first big day we've ever seen in our history we actually have a president of the Senate saying that he supports objecting to electoral college votes. Now we need to keep in mind, Mike Pence said that he supports the House members and the Senate members and the senators from objecting to electoral college votes. He didn't personally say, look, I will object, but he's definitely been hinting at it and he is no stranger to supporting and giving powerful, powerful speeches, supporting our president, talking about widespread voter F word and voter irregularity. So he's totally on board with what's going on. They, the New York Times says that if Pence were to give Trump what he wants, the country would truly be in uncharted territory, meaning that he totally can, but it's just gonna make our world kind of, or our country kind of go ballistic, which face it, we already know what's gonna happen. And I wanted to talk about this Washington lawyer because there is a, uh, there's a, so I also wanted to, so I also really wanted to highlight this person, this lawyer that they brought in. He's a democratic lawyer, a liberal lawyer. I like to look at the other side too, just to see what they're saying. Guys, they're scared and they actually know that Pence can do this because let's take a look at their language. This guy, his name's Alan Rawl. He's a Washington lawyer. He said the prospect of the vice president and members of Congress trying to overturn the will of the people rather than duly counting governor certified votes would be unconstitutional and calamitous, adding that it would be an exceptionally dangerous precedent. So it's like they're, they're talking about this possibility, which, oh, it's going to ruin our democracy. It's going to, you know, no one's ever done it before. Pence can't do it because nobody has before. But in, rea in reality, Pence can do whatever he wants. And we all know Trump is not a politician. He makes it very, very clear. He goes, I'm not a politician. I'm just a guy. I'm a leader and I'm an American who is leading our country. And he also says, if the Sedition Caucus in the House and Senate goes forward with their utterly unprecedented attack <laughs> abetted by the vice president, it would torque our democracy for years to come. So look, they're definitely talking about like what's going to happen if Pence does it. They're not saying he can't do it. The, their only basis of argument for saying that Pence can't do this is them saying that no one's done it before. So they're just saying that it's basically going to go crazy. So I don't know. I thought that was really interesting that the Democrats are like freaking out about this because they know that Pence and Trump are most likely and everyone's going to object to these votes. So they're preparing for failure for a loss. So anyways, that's all I have for today's video. Thumbs up this video. I want to hear your thoughts down below too. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Bye now.